Welcome back. Uh, you heard me say there's uh, some complicated questions, Mark, uh, that the cat, how the calves get there and when that day finally comes. And uh, here's a little bit more. Here's more of it. Uh, a year after uh, finishing 19 and 63, one of the worst records in franchise history, tied for the second worst record, uh, marked mark in the league or marked in the league. Excuse me. Are the Cavs are right back in that familiar place? Uh, Sure, given the way they were playing following uh, Bickerstaff's uh, ascension, winning five of those, of those 11 games, uh, tremendous uh, uh, and uh, transformation, excuse me, uh, Andre Drummond trade, transformation Andre Drummond trade, excuse me, uh, it's fair to wonder just how many more victories they could have earned if not for the uh, coronavirus pandemic. But the season uh, post-mortem uh, once again points to the, the futility, uh, uh, the, 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 fertility, the futility, excuse me, instability and uh, Un and uncertainty. The Cavs finished with 19 wins uh, uh, in the Eastern Conference's uh, lowest, the Eastern Conference's lowest total, and lowest, and the lowest total, and the second worst record overall. Only, only injury uh, uh, wrecked Golden State Warriors, who played a handful of G, -G Leaguers. And castoffs for the for most of the year were 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 worse. Cleveland's average point uh, differential tied for last in the East. There was another in in season coaching uh, coaching coaching change, uh, giving the giving the Cavs uh, for now in the past in the past uh, LeBron James era and. And the Golden State Warriors are not invited either, so that's another team that's not invited. That's where the other teams, so to, just to let you know of. Uh, when the season froze, the Cavs were 11 games back uh, of the conference's final playoff spot, just days away from elimination. The NBA wasn't trying too harsh uh, to be too harsh. It wasn't uh, personnel. It, it was a. It wasn't a personnel slight. Uh, the Cavs were excluded along with the New York Knicks, uh, Minnesota Timber, Minnesota Timberwolves, Charlotte Hornets, Detroit uh, Pistons, Golden State Warriors, and and the Chicago Bears and the Atlanta Hawks, because they weren't good enough. The 22 invites were all at least six games from a playoff spot. Relative uh, uh, striking distance and, and distance giving how much time was left in the season. That's, uh, that's the company the Cavs are soon hoping to keep. Our responsibility is to go out there and try to, com to compete every single night. It doesn't have any doubt in the uh, group we have. We have Picker, Pickerstaff said, the Eastern, Conf the Eastern Conference. There is a lot of of teams in that same position, and it's going to be a matter of who can take that step the quickest. Now, our young guys uh, have to take that that next step because they are the ones that are going to make that push. We know what Kevin Love is and and how he can contribute. Larry Nance Jr., Andre Drummond, Drummond, all those guys. We know who they are, but they but the difference in who we are and who we are is giving to be uh, our young guys. So there is a huge uh, emphasis and focus I'm pushing them, and what we want to get better, and and we want to be back in the hunt next year, and that is, and we want the cows back in the hunt 
But it may be another year or two before we're back in the playoffs. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, we were not having a, we're not having expectations, excuse me, of 19 wins in a shortened season uh, to champions. But the need, but there needs to be steps forward, no doubt. In the East, if there's forward, you're battling for it for the eighth spot going down the stretch. I think that's a relative expectation for us. And I agree with that. That is a relative, a relative expectation. And the Cavs need to uh, live up to that expectation. And I think a lot of fans agree with me on that. Uh, the Cavs were seemingly heading in the right direction in March. They were 5-6 and six under Bickerstaff with wins against playoff-bound Denver, Philadelphia, and Miami. They were 4-4 four four with Drummond in the lineup. They, the brief uh, 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 reassure, re, the, the brief uh, uh, reassurance reassur reassurance uh, re reassurance, re uh, reassurance or whatever, had them uh, brimming with confidence. Their uh, brief, their uh, belief in Bickerstaff, something uh, lacking under ex-coach John Beeline, uh, was uh, evident. Then play stopped. Uh, the guys uh, really cared. The guys really cared. Bickerst Bickerstaff said, uh, "You, you got to get a bunch of guys on the floor." Uh, uh, that. That it matters a bunch of on the floor. That it matters to and very easily where uh, we were in the season uh, time of year. Uh, the limited amount of games we had left. The guys uh, punted, but they didn't. But they didn't. Uh, excuse me. They went out every single night and competed. You have to have some some sort of foundation, and the foundation. For the good teams, there's people willing to buy into something greater than themselves. And that's where I thought we were, and that's why I was so excited. My vision has always been a group that nobody wants to see. Uh, nobody, that nobody wants to see, excuse me. Uh, their, their first thought when they see you on the schedule is O's. Not them. Uh, not them. Uh, getting there becomes a greater challenge when uh, considering uh, the, trick, uh, the tricky offseason. Uh, that's why the organization continues to work with the league on a plan that keeps excluded teams engaged uh, some other way while the 22 teams in Orlando get 5 to seven weeks of extra practice and at least eight games. Uh, at this point, the Cavs don't have uh, clarity on the, on the next steps. Uh, Bickerstaff and his coaches have had conversations about what happens if the NBA uh, doesn't uh, agree to these unique proposals, uh, which include a mandatory uh, team organized training camps, OTAs, or even a summer league tournament of the forgotten. Uh, there have been conversations with other teams that uh, that gauge their that that gauge their interest in uh, joint practices, creating a similar competitive environment to the one in Orlando. Bickerstaff has a solid. A relationship with the, with Hawks head coach Lloyd Pierce. The two are part of uh, the new 10-person uh, subcommittee under the National Basketball uh, Coaches Association that is focused specifically specifically on standing up on racial injustice. Bickerstaff was 
with the Pistons executive Ed Stefanski in Memphis, in Memphis, Memphis, excuse me. Uh, Brock uh, Aller is now with the Knicks, and Knicks. Uh, any of uh, these uh, of these teams would make sense as a practice partner. We asked the league to do these things, so there's not competitive uh, a competitive uh, disadvantage. And I agree with that. Uh, Bickerstaff said, and if you if you take eight nine months off. Uh, uh, in between games, there's no doubt that there will be a competitive disadvantage for your group. How do we want, how do we get guys together in our market? How do we get some, some, comp some competitive games out of it? There is nothing definitive yet, but we are fighting. How do we expect to develop, to develop your guys if there is an eight, nine month layoff uh, and, and we're already under very, very difficult circumstances with the uh, coronavirus pandemic itself. We are fighting like hell to get something done and the Cavs are doing just that. In the meantime, the Cavs are, are trying to keep uh, uh, the tight bond that was beginning uh, to form months ago while uh, preparing uh, just in case there are concessions made to the usual summertime activities. They, they are monitoring where players go and what they, what they do, making sure uh, everyone stays safe and protected from the COVD-19. COVD uh, in the, uh, the development plans on the court and in the weight room have been uh, tweaked slightly and are scheduled to go out to players in the next few days. Uh, beyond Zoom calls, uh, Zoom calls, FaceTime, and text uh, messages, Bickerstaff has shown up uh, to the parking lots where players uh, may, be get, may be gathering just so they can have uh, that interaction. That's one of my biggest concerns with teams that are getting the advantage uh, of playing in Orlando and uh, practicing for six weeks, Pickerstaff said, I believe our league will do what's right and, and at, at the end of the day because uh, they always have, but we just have to make sure that we, are, that we keep pushing for these opportunities because it will impact 2021 if we don't, if we don't, and not in a positive way, and that is very true. Uh, intent uh, uh, internally, 2021 is the year many within the organization have pointed to in uh, this uh, uh, re uh, this uh, rebuild. It will be a year, year three. It will be year three since James left. The Cavs knowingly know what they need to do to start showing real progress, even with tough decisions, maybe even departures ahead. Uh, Tristan Thompson, Matthew Delavadova, and, and, and Antti Zizak are all unrestricted free agents, along with keeping uh, one or two. Uh, one or two. The Cavs have to add pieces. Uh, either in free agency uh, via trades or the draft. Uh, according to Bickerstaff, he has been included in all of the personnel conversations with general manager Kobe Altman and assistant GM Mike, uh, Gan Mike Gansey. Obviously, those guys will uh, make the call at the end of the day, uh, but we are together in this ship. Bickerstaff said, "This is a true partnership. Value my, and they value my opinion. I value their opinion. I respect their job at the end of the day, the same way they respect mine. The decision has to always be best for the organization, and I think that's uh, got to be the forefront for us. And uh, there's a little more, but I don't have time to read the, uh, to tell you the rest, but." 
See you next time. Bye-bye.